Hello, my name is Tanya. I'm going to show you a bit of my space where I work and you're more than welcome to come in. So this is my studio. Um, I'm a mixed media artist. Uh, my background is in product design and uh, I always went to painting all the time. Like I, I, I studied and I did a lot of different um, products and they, all of them had to do with art. So at, at this point I'm mostly painting and uh, I've been painting for almost 25 years now. Um, my, my media is mixed media. Um, I collect papers, I collect images and uh, a lot of my inspiration comes from uh, Latin America. I was born in Mexico and uh, you will see from, from all my, my paintings, all the colors, all the combination of patterns. Um, I love to travel, so uh, I, every time that I travel, I, I get to go to different places and take pictures and, and bring different fabrics. Uh, for me, it's very important to get all this knowledge from, from all over the world. I, I try to, to, to really capture what, what's going on and I try to bring a little bit into my paintings. Um, I used to live in Cabo San Lucas and uh, in Cabo um, I enjoy swimming, like open water swimming. So you will also see some of my inspiration uh, from underneath the ocean. Um, I used to swim and just think about all the different ideas that I was going to do while I get out of the water. And, um, and it's just, just having fun, you know, with what, what I'm doing and what, what I'm creating. Um, so it's been a treat. Uh, I moved to Vermont last year. Uh, I used to live here before, so I remember um, how it was here. And I really, really love the snow. The snow really calms my mind. And my mind is always filled with different ideas and colors and what I'm going to create and what I'm going to do. And the snow really, really, really calms my mind. And it helps me to create uh, from a place of like all white. I come in my studio and I just like feel all these colors coming in. And, and it's so peaceful and so great to be able to to do that, you know. Um, you will see a lot of Frida Kahlo's. I love Frida Kahlo. She's a great inspiration. So I try to do different Fridas of all different shapes and all different colors and, and, uh, and patterns. Um, I do, um, I will show you all my underwater scenes and I will tell you a little bit of how my process is, like how I layer all of the papers that I use how I layer all of the, I love to use uh, gold leaf also. That's another one that I use a lot in my paintings. And, um, and I'll give you a little demo of how, how I work. So this is a bit of the process that I go through when I'm painting, I'm doing these two um, circles. This is um, just a basic cutout of a swimmer. And what I do is I start choosing the paper that I'm going to go with. So right now I have this really cool pattern of paper that um, I love using. It's kind of like tropical, but it has all these beautiful colors. And then I'm going to do a combination of, um, of something like this. I like to layer different patterns, even though if they don't have anything to do like color wise, I like to contrast shapes. I love to do that over time. So for example, for this one, I'm going to start with something like this. And I don't have like an exact idea of what I'm going to do. I just like first like to just work on the background. And then from there, depending on how the background works out, then I will say, okay, now I'm going to do collage or I'm going to paint. I do either one. Like I, sometimes I will just paste things and paint on top of them. Uh, but sometimes I will just uh, paint. So if, if, if I cannot find the right image that I want to use, I will paint. So right now I'm just kind of like layering things like this. I'm going to go like that. And then I'm going to... This is like my magic box where I have all of my different um, papers and I have boxes and boxes and boxes. This is just 
paper that I chose exactly for this for this project. So I kind of just will go kind of like this to build up the pattern. And I, I like to use uh, Mod Podge. That's what I use for my for my collage. Um, and I do like this. And what else I have here? So I always have cut up images. So the images I have like all different elements like stone, I have fashion, I have the combination really varies from a lot of, I like to have like antique toys. Uh, so I will do, I like her in the middle. And I may do like a really cool mask on top of her like that. And I kind of like this guys. And then I do, and it doesn't matter how much paper, like I can layer seven, seven or eight papers, one on, on top of each other. Uh, what matters is like, it, it has to be flat. So right now I'm just kind of like getting the design ready from there. I will flatten this canvas, which already has a lot of paper. And then I'll just start putting things on top every time. And it gets to a point that's pretty thick, but I still can stretch it into, into a, a stretcher bar, so it's fine. And the most important thing is that each layer will be really covered. Like it will have a lot of a lot of different um, glue. Well, mostly the Mod Podge, but it has to have a lot of it. I like to use this and I will start with her. So I just go like that. And I also like to work in series. So I will have like four or five paintings at the same time. That way all of them um, can kind of look a little bit the same. Not the same, but a little bit of the same language. You know, for me, it's, it's kind of like, it's, it's nice to work like that. And I like to go on top. So what I do is I, I glue like that. And then I will glue underneath. We're gonna wait for this to dry and then we can paint on top. 